Hare Krishna. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates.
So like this, very nicely, Brahma is giving description of different parts of the universal body and how they are the source of the various manifestations in this material world, including our body. Body is different faculties. So coming to the point of <coughs> Lord's genitals, Pumzaha Shishna Upastastu. Remember the first <coughs> instruction of Prabhupada Swami in Upadesh Shamanda. What is the first instruction? Vacho Vega, Manasa, Krodha Vega, Jiva Vega, Upastha Vega. There is a use of this of the word Upastha. So here also, Brahma is using the word Upastha. Upastha means the place where. Genitals are situated. Hmm. So, <coughs> this, uh, the genital, Lord's genitals, they originate or they are the generating center of five things. What are they? <coughs> Abam, uh, water, and Vidyasya, <coughs> semen. Sargasya, any other generative principle, generative substance. Parjanyasya, of rates. Where does Krishna say Parjanyasya? Bhagavad Gita. Anna Dhavanti Bhutani, Parjanya Arana Sambhava, Ibnya Dhavati Parjanya. Parjanya means rains. So rains are coming from the genitals of the universal form of the Lord. You see, Prajanyasya Prajapati, Prajapati, who are the uh, creators or the procreators or the, or the people responsible, responsible officers, administrators in the material world, responsible for increasing the population, Prajapati. Uh, one of the main great examples is Taksha. So these uh, are all generating, are all they are the they are all originated from the genitals of the Ivraga Purusha. Uh, and further, <coughs> Brahma says, Prajatyananda Nirudhe. And these genitals are the cause of a pleasure that contracts the distress of begetting. <coughs> So, Prabhupada elaborates on this point only, the whole purport. How the genitals being the cause of uh, pleasure, so much pleasure it gives, the highest pleasure in the material world which people are running behind is the pleasure derived from the genitals. This will surpass every other pleasure. <coughs> Everybody is working for this pleasure. Prabhupada says, a man works hard, whole day and night. Why? Because he can get a momentary sex pleasure uh, in the night. So many classic examples given in the Bhagavatam description. Uh, <coughs> uh, the whole world is running around, the whole world is revolving on this concept of sex pleasure. Or the pleasure that derived from the genitals. Right. So, <clears throat> this is a very uh, important subject matter which Bhagavatam describes <laughs> in detail in many many contexts. Specifically, Prabhupada is taking out uh, the opportunity to explain how this pleasure is so entangling. Uh, so engrossing and so bewildering that it can counteract the distress of family encumbrance purposes. Right? Because uh, sex pleasure, <coughs> Prabhupada says, whether legal or illegal, it's going to give you a lot of distress. Prabhupada uh, Maharaj says, <coughs> That was which Pradhana says about sex pleasure. Yen Maitana, 
ಗಂಡೂಯ ಮೇಲೆ ಕರೆಯೋ ಇವ ದುಃಖ ದುಃಖಂ ಎನ್ ಮೈಥುನಾದಿ ಮೈಥುನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಎನ್ ಮೈಥುನಾದಿ ಗೃಹ ಮೇಧಿ ಸುಖಂ ಹಿ ತುಚ್ಛಂ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಲ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನಿಚಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಕಂಡೂತಿವನ್ ಮನಸಿಜಂ ರೈಟ್ ವಿಷಹೇತ ಧೀರ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟಾಲರೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಚಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇವ್ ಯು ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ 2012 ಅಪ್ ಟು ನೌ ದಿ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇವನ್ ನೌ ಡಿಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ರೇಪಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ನಿರ್ಭಯ ಕೇಸ್ the report to get hung hang just on the 1st of february again something happened and courts are still thinking what to do is see all why because few men had so much of intense desire to enjoy their sex pleasure that they had to you know do something which is very abominable so <coughs> pralam mara says dukha dukham <laughs> from by explains whether it is legally married pleasure or illegally you would like to look for look up look forward to have pleasure is all filled with only miseries because even you have a family you have to take the responsibility of uh, you know, taking care of the family hmm? very nice with every statement what robert makes this part but is very very meaningful I mean, a lot of, uh, you know, relevance in the present day context. Uh, <clears throat> Prabhupada says, one would cease to generate altogether if there were not, by the grace of the Lord, a coating, a pleasure-giving substance on the surface of the generative, generative organs. So, Prabhupada is telling, there is a uh, pleasure-giving substance. It's a coating on the gen- genitals. which uh, gives so much intense pleasure <coughs> that it is going to contract even the distress of family encumbrance. The pleasure is so intense, I don't mind. I'll take care of the whole family, I'll be, whole life I'll be taking care of my family. Or I'll get into the one more, you know, uh, domain of taking care, giving my time, energy, your whole life you have to, you know, dedicate for that family. intense so proper is using very strong words here the pleasure is so intense that it you know it, it entangles you and the person a person is so captivated by this pleasure giving substance proper literally uses this word pleasure giving substance which means this uh, pleasure giving substance is again generated from krishna krishna is the origin proper says the pleasure giving substance is a reality this so intense pleasure it is giving uh, so much it is captivating that a person is not satisfied by getting one child hmm? he goes on increasing the number of children <coughs> so much pleasure uh, and in the modern context prabhupada also explains <coughs> uh, the degraded form of family restriction by use of contraceptives because they want to avoid family children hmm? just use the pleasure and just have the pleasure for the sake of having pleasure that's all so the article i was just reading recently very in the modern times people don't mind uh, you know having any family bonding a very structured way of family life how it is all was all it's all going on even now but people are thinking in a different way now they are thinking yes husband wife fine but why whole life <laughs> huh? let us change our partners no for some time we will remain as husband and wife or other will we for the society where husband and wife wife can have many relations husband also can have many relations so these things are being explored and discussed in society 
and they are thought to be very, you know, uh, free thinking. It's called permissive society. Right? There's so many discussions like this, you know, because the modern day, uh, modern day <coughs> society thinks, now why should we be bound by so many rules, regulations, so many age-old customs, uh, so many uh, restrictions with regard to law, with regard to religion and so many things. Uh, we should be very freely discussing. There are so many discussions how having sex before marriage, what is wrong in it? Because after all, it's a pleasure we have to enjoy. So before marriage, after marriage, it hardly matters. You have to enjoy your senses. See how the whole perception is going on. Huh? There was one more article which I was you know, going through a few days back. A daughter is uh, openly giving a message in the social media, looking forward for a very handsome, handsome young man for the mother. <laughs> Basically, you know, uh, she is uh, telling that you know, my mother wants to get married again, so I am looking forward for a man. See the way. What is, what is the type of messaging is going on in the present day? Media, newspapers, televisions, uh, serials, cinemas, what is going on? Uh, the value system with regard to the, the faculty of uh, you know, sex pleasure, what we have, how it is being used. This is India? Everywhere, India. Yes. Times of India. <laughs> <laughs> You just see the newspaper and media, you get bewildered what is happening. People are going crazy. Uh, people are thinking, tired to tired the cities. Even there, people are, the youth are discussing how pre-marital pre -marital sex is no, no problem. 30% youth are all agreeing to this point. Yes, no problem. See, the way, what is, where we are going heading, where we are heading. What is happening to society is the point. So these are all points which you know, Prabhupada is very nicely discussing that <coughs> the pleasure giving substance which is around the genitals coating this Krishna's creation is not false because it is originating from the transcendental body of the Lord. Whatever body we have is not false as Mayavadi say Brahma Satya Jagan Vitya. No, this is a fact but this has a purpose and it has a purpose which has to be achieved in a specific way. The existence is temporary. Our body is temporary, asat. But it has, it is existing, it is a fact. Temporarily it will exist. But given the situation it is going to exist, uh, we are supposed to function in a specific manner. So, the pleasure giving substance or the faculty of sex pleasure which Krishna has given is a reality. But it is taken on an aspect of Pervertedness on account of material contamination purposes. So, how it is pervertedly reflected or pervertedly you know, manifested? Just like in the Bhagavad Gita words, Kama Yesha, Krodha Yesha, and Shajogana Samudhava. In that verse, Prabhupada explains how love for Krishna is transformed or it is pervertedly reflected as Kama, lust. We have originally love for Krishna, but that love has changed and transformed, perverted, reflecting as our intense desire to enjoy in this material world. And the highest level of enjoyment is sex pleasure. And people think, this is a faculty I have, I should enjoy. I should go on enjoying. There is no uh, who is going to stop? It's my, after all, my body, my senses. Why should, why there should be any restriction? And even in the high class society, uh, changing partners, divorce, again change, marrying, it's all a very common thing. People don't see it as a, any, 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 they don't look up, look down. Oh, this, this has happened. He's not even able to maintain one family. Changing partners, divorce has become a very common thing, which was, you know, in Prabhupada's time in America, it was common. Now it has become common in India. Right. So this is the situation right now. So basically, <clears throat> the facility which so many faculties we have, say 
sense of sight, sense of hearing, sense of touch, all the faculties have a reason why they have been created. This, this particular point, the sages of Naimisharanya, Dr. Saurakamuni, have been uh, very nicely discussing with <coughs> Sutta Goswami how the different faculties are being misused by the humanity for their sense gratification. With the basic misunderstanding that I am this body and this body is meant for my enjoyment. I am the Lord of all I survey. I just want to enjoy things around me. This is the basic misunderstanding. So the material world, <coughs> the sex life, has taken the position, the topmost position with regard to our you know, enjoying tendency. Mm. So much so that the distresses <coughs> which come upon after the, you know, this, this momentary pleasure of sex are so many that people you know, are aware of them but even then they are indulging in it. Uh, this is the point. <coughs> So Prabhupada is very nicely giving the Vedic perspective, the Bhagavatam perspective. Yes, sex life is a necessity, sex pleasure is a necessity. Necessity as long as for generating progeny in the material world, but that too with great responsibility. What does Krishna say in Bhagavad Gita? Uh, that uh, I am the sex life is not against the religious principle. Dharma viruddha kamos me. Dharma aviruddha kamas. That kama which is not against the principles of dharma, I am that sex life, Krishna says. Which means sex life is a necessity, it's like ahara nidra bhaya maithunam cha. Yes, it's a necessity. But in what way, to what extent, these are the things, these are the things which we are supposed to uh, you know, understand and accordingly apply the principles. Anything done. In excess will be, or anything done without any restriction will be a cause of uh, degradation or fall, fall down. So Krishna says, eating too much, eating too less, sleeping too much, sleeping too less, one cannot become a yogi. Krishna says, you have to moderate. You have to moderate your activities of recreation, your activities of sleep, your activities of eating, your activities of sense pleasure also. Unrestrictedly doing them cannot make you progress in your spiritual life. So the whole aim of the materialistic <coughs> uh, civilization uh, and or other, the human form of life is meant to see that we progress in a spiritual journey of life. And in the present day context, this is forgotten. It is Prabhupada here very nice telling. The generation or the progeny creation uh, in the material world, which is a necessity, uh, they should be carried on with full responsibility for spiritual values. Very nice point Prabhupada is making. He is introducing the uh, you know, word spiritual value. Our present situation, spiritual values <coughs> are also degraded. People who are talking about uh, you know, permissiveness in society with regard to freely mixing. What is wrong? Uh, we can, anyway, we, our body, our, we have to enjoy pleasure, all, all, all said and done. So this under, idea of understanding is why? Because they don't have a proper training with regard to spiritual values. Right? They are just going on in the material world thinking that, you know, we are, we are all here for, come for enjoying. The, the mentality of demonic understanding which Krishna explains. This world has no foundation, this world is uh, just created, you know, by chance, as yes, by the you know, sex pleasure of man and woman, things are going on. Such understanding, such values, such uh, you know beings. So this is what the present Kali Yuga is. In one context, Prabhupada explains. Uh, the student brahmachari communities are no longer being maintained. There is no concept of brahmachari at all. Uh, as soon as you enter the, you know, when you are becoming seven, eight years old, already things are so much, you are bombarded in the media, television, newspaper, you are talking, everybody is talking about that only. When children started, you know, understand the same background, their, their thinking, their way of seeing things will be in the same light. How things are being, you know, uh, how things are taking, taking shape in the Kali Yuga. 
right? Freely mixing, Prabhupada says, co-education. Uh, there's no, uh, no longer Brahmacharya's communities are there, right? From the very beginning they are made to see that you enjoy your senses, indulge in sense gratification. The highest sense gratification is uh, sex pleasure. There are many, many reports, you know, every time the newspapers carry, new media carry, how uh, these children in school, one boy raped one girl. Like this, you know, so many cases being reportedly being uh, given. And Prabhupada says, <coughs> because no brahmacharya is being followed, and householders do not observe the rules and regulations of Grahastha Ashram, because these very, these very children who are not observed brahmacharya in their childhood and youthhood, they become Grahasthas. There was a more uh, say article, I just, uh, news I was reading, see, so many things. <laughs> uh, one doctor, she got uh, married to one person in South India somewhere. It's all online now, there are a lot of online portals for marriage. You can post your uh, profile and one boy will post, one girl will post and you can select and both of you agree, then you get married. Right? So in the profile, what all you will do? You will just declare some things which you know very nicely, very beautiful, very good things you will tell. You will not tell all your background. So this doctor lady, <coughs> she has posted that, yes, I had an affair with one boy earlier. Now that this affair is over, so I am looking forward for a good, nice relation so that I can get married and settle down. Fine, so one more very simple boy. Is just okay, nice doctor anyway. So both, both get married. And <coughs> later, this girl, uh, this uh, woman, she is uh, forcing the boy that you watch all that you know, nonsense porn videos and I would like to have sex like that the way you are seeing the porn uh, with you. And while he is going through those, some he is hesitant and seeing those films some videos. In that film, she is there and that boy is there. Other older boy. This all came in newspaper. Not like simply some stories. And he got shocked. What is this? But anyway, I told you, you know, I had an older, like, older relation. So then he agreed, settled down. He had something. How come it is posted in the, you know, in the, in the internet? You know, that boy would have posted, he has been, he has been harassing me. Maybe he is, uh, you know, blackmailing me. Okay, the matter got settled. After that, further he is seeing the same woman with some other man. In some other video. He got shocked. What is this? You told only one man, one more person is there. So, she was saying, then she revealed, no, no, not only one, I had many relations. Just see. How a doctor married to a, uh, you know, maybe some, uh, computer engineer, software engineer. How these people are all driven by what type of instincts? And the boy, you know, he is very much distressed and he wanted to get separated. But she's like, no, no, I will not do again, I will just be with you. Like this. These are all reported in the newspaper. These are the news which is going on and what values people will get. So the Brahmachari community is no longer being maintained. Householders do not observe rules regulations of Grihastha Ashrama. Grihastha Ashrama rules are what? To beget or have progeny only then you have to have sex. If you have, want to have children only then you should have sex. So that too, the children should be fully trained with spiritual values. Because spiritual values means the purpose of life is to you know, get liberated from this material world. That is a chance which, the, you know, which Lord Krishna has given us, this understanding. Uh, and conducting our life in that mood, this spiritual value. This all can be realized in the human form of life. Hmm. And Prabhupada says, the human being must adopt family planning with reference to the context of spiritual values. Present day context of family planning is all based on sense gratification. I like you, you like me, when we don't like each other, we divorce. This is Kaliyuga way of life. Children, they will go to hell. <laughs> we, I am satisfied, that is what I want. What will go on? See, just the, the children who are generated from those family, even our donors in Agra, 
of our devotees took me into one family. But why? Because having two grown up sons, they are all 18 years, 16 years. And that wife, uh, son, uh, husband, or husband, uh, <coughs> wife, the wife has given up the company of her husband and attracted some other man. There's one more funny news which came recently. Huh? Boy and girl are about to get married in a place. <coughs> All arranged marriage. Somehow it came to me know that the uh, boy's mother and the girl's father are all, you know, school, they were all friends. So they were so thick friends during the school day. Somehow, you know, after that marriage happened, life is going on. Again they are met. And again that love spark. <laughs> Between that, you know, <laughs> his mother and father. So marriage is about to happen, but these husband, no, mother and father ran away. <laughs> and marriage got cancelled. You see? So, like this, the spiritual values. So many reports are coming like So, the people think it is all, you know, okay. What is that? Material huh? world. So, Prabhupada is telling, <coughs> Brahmachari communities are not there. Grahasthas don't follow those regulations. Consequently, the so-called Vanaprastas and Sannyasis who come out of such Grahastha Ashramas uh, are easily deviated from the rigid path. See the origin, the basis. First of all, children are not trained. Then when they become Grahasthas, further degradation. And after the a community which comes out, Grahastha, Vanaprastha, which means retired people, old people, are all have the same mentality. No training. Huh? You are supposed to have a student life, a householder life, retired life and a complete renounced life. This is the Vedic system. Brahmacharya, Krasta, Vanaprastha, then Sanyasa. But no such rules, regulations being followed. No Varnashrama system. See, Varnashrama institution in that way is supposed to inculcate very systematically the spiritual values in everybody. In a very, very systematic manner. Right? But in Kali Yuga, the whole atmosphere, Prabhupada says, is surcharged with faithlessness, godlessness, and complete materialism. Faithlessness means no material, only material matter and sense gratification, senses, uh, driven by instincts of sense gratification. Doesn't matter what age. Prabhupada gives a famous story of how uh, uh, Akbar once asked a question to Birbal. How long this sex desire will be there? And Birbal said, until the time of your death. <laughs> the verbal was, how can? After death. Maybe sometime we'll have, after sometime we'll go away. No, 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 I'll test you, I'll show you. He told you, bring your young daughter tomorrow with me. I'll take you to her place. You'll see how this you know, sex desire is so intense until the end of your life will be going on. So, as agreed, Akbar brought his young daughter. <coughs> teenage daughter and uh, Birbal took him, all of them to one place where one old man was about to die. Uh, he was just uh, almost about to die. So when these three people are coming, this old man is not seeing anybody except that girl. His whole vision is only on that girl. And as they are coming closer and closer, he is not seeing king has come, minister has come, no. Oh. And his vision is there only. So Birbal is See, this is the proof. This old man is dying, and where is his attention? This is what is happening in the present day context. Everywhere we see, you know, opposite sex going, each one is staring at each other. Uh, every now, this is a pleasure, sort of, you know, Prabhupada says, even staring at the opposite sex. Uh, in one of the contexts in Bhagavatam, Prabhupada says, looking at the fair sex or opposite sex and appreciating the beauty. Oh, so beautiful. Or hearing the voice of the opposite sex and appreciating the voice, these are all subtle fall down. And there's so many things happening nowadays. Each one is decorating so well that each has to attract each other. That is the present day context. Where is the value of spiritual values? And we are only thinking that we are existing because we have to enjoy by sex, they enjoy by sex pleasure. So material sense gratification is now the standard of civilization. 
where the spiritual uh, you know civilization or the Vedic civilization was based on spiritual values. Right? Whereas the present day situation you see, the standard is material sense gratification. For the maintenance of such material civilizations, man has formed complex nations and communities, and there's a constant strain of hot and cold wars between these different groups. It has become very difficult before, therefore, to raise a spiritual standard due to the present distorted values of human society. If Prabhupada is regretting how it is so difficult to raise the spiritual standard because the values have been distorted so much. But the very first purpose uh, of the seven purposes which Srila Prabhupada made a, in a complete <coughs> description when he incorporated International Society for Krishna Consciousness was to see that the imbalance of values is addressed in society. A systematic education is required in the society in terms of propagating the values as inculcated in the books of wisdom, Srimad Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam Prabhupada. The first, you know, uh, result, this one, <coughs> rules which Prabhupada wrote. <coughs> so, this is the present day situation. People should understand the faculties which we have, the different uh, various facilities we have is not for sense gratification, it is for the pleasure of Krishna. Rishikeyanu uh, Rishikeyasya Sevanam. So, pervertedly misusing them, pervertedly using them for our own sense gratification is the cause of further entanglement. And Prabhupada is telling here that <coughs> materialists who use these devices want to fully utilize the pleasure potency of the coating on the genitals by artificial means without knowing spiritual importance. Without knowledge of spiritual values, a less intelligent man tries to utilize only by only the material sense pleasure of the genitals. So, whereas the other description with regard to how this very uh, you know, attraction for the sex, if it is transformed or rather is doubted as attraction for Krishna, how it can totally transform your life, it can give the perfection of a human life is what Bhagavatam is describing. You will forget this nonsense sense of sex attraction process. sex. By seeing the beautiful deity form of Krishna, all these so-called uh, bulls and uh, you know, instincts for sense gratification will be nullified. Prabhupada often said that how Haridas Thakur, just by chanting the holy name of Krishna, he was so much absorbed and taking that highest pleasure within him. That even at the dead of night when a prostitute came, he was least disturbed. Whereas in our case, present day situation, Society is so degraded that even little, little, you know, uh, <coughs> some allurements and some triggers of sense gratification is agitating people like anything. Right? Whereas uh, in Krishna consciousness, when you situate it in the proper way, and even the greatest sense pleasure is before you in the form of a, an opposite sex offering you or attracting you for sex pleasure, you are least bothered. That is the example of Haridas Thakur. So this is what Prabhupada wanted us to, you know, become, uh, because all this, even sex, the, the greatest, sex, uh, the pleasure called sex pleasure is the most entangling one in the material world. So you have to become free from this sex pleasure. To become free, Prabhupada says, uh, we have to, you know, become intelligent and culture our spiritual values properly in association of devotees. I'll stop here. Nandra, Shrimad Bhagavatam, Ki, Srila Prabhupada. Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. So when we preach to the people about eating non-vegetarian food, we can easily preach that a soul is getting killed, somebody is getting harmed. But when you have to preach about avoiding illicit sex, mm. so the common question comes just like it is, uh, I am ready and the partner is ready. So yeah. what is the harm in that? And when we say that it destroys the principle of cleanliness, so in how much sense like this principle of cleanliness of mind and how can you explain it? How to uh, uh, explain, how to preach somebody? So it cannot be explained in one sitting. Slowly, gradually you should explain. First of all, you have to make the ground ready. Because they are all uh, subject matters which cannot be appreciated. Yes. People are in the mode of ignorance and passion. Mostly ignorance. So ignorant people cannot appreciate these elevated understandings of you know, what is Atma, 
Why we have to do this? Why we should not do this? It will not appeal to them. So to whatever extent you can bring them to the platform of goodness by making them chant Hare Krishna and giving some prasadam and association, gradually they will understand. Even for us, these subject matters are all revealed here and there in Bhagavatam. And it's striking us now. Okay, you are also like one of them. <coughs> in one sense. So, uh, it's a matter of time how uh, Prabhupada and Krishna will reciprocate in each and every uh, individual with regard to their level of sincerity, their level of wanting to become more serious to understand about the spiritual you know, importance of life. So, in that way, we can only, because everything cannot be explained to everyone at one point of time. Right? It may, it may not, you know, he may not understand or he may simply take it as oh, something you want to just want to justify what you are doing. So we are giving some explanation. Because you know for us to come to this level of understanding, we have gone through some training. We have gone through a lot of understanding with regard to why it is so. So if if outside world if you say Krishna says I am your sex life is against not against religious principles. So for them to comprehend this is not easy. Right? So Population is that way, as Prabhupada says, is such as you know, uh, you know, faithlessness, godlessness, and materialism, and the distorted values they have. So they will simply uh, not they will, they will take it otherwise and start you know taking some other meaning. So uh, what Prabhupada said for us is that you know you preach to them whatever they can appreciate or. You 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 uh, give the Krishna conscious understanding in a way that they can appreciate slowly, gradually. They're going through happiness, distress. You address that problem, right? Uh, see other uh, relational aspects with regard to sex and all. Yes, it's a later. You no, know, if it is able to appreciate, fine. Sometimes many people may take it otherwise. So gradually go step by step and definitely you know if he is sincere as Prabhupada says uh, things will come before him and you realize oh this is something which is obvious we have to know this is the root cause of all problem. Right. For us you know when you see newspaper articles which I have been describing in this session uh, uh, so it looks like you know, it is so absurd for us. Right. You have already settled for us you know uh, civilization means once you are married, you are settled. Over. No more looking up a man seeking for one more woman or a woman seeking a more man is, is totally abominable. Whereas present society doesn't even have to know the value that once you are married, you are settled and you cannot go forward because it's going to spoil your uh, spoil your, uh, your spiritual journey. It's going to become an obstacle in your spiritual journey. Because they don't have the higher pleasure, no? The higher taste of what is Krishna consciousness. They are just thinking this is the highest pleasure. Here I am not able to get this pleasure, let me change the situation. That is what people are thinking. Right? So to come to that level of that this is not the high, right pleasure, Krishna consciousness is the highest pleasure, it will take some time. Uh, association of devotees, just like the Srimad Swami says, Shraddha, Vajana Kriya, Sadhu Sangha, Anartha then they will develop their actual uh, asakti, ruchi towards Krishna consciousness. Right now their asakti, ruchi is towards those things. So it requires shraddha, bhajana kriya, sadhu sangha, anartani vruti. They start chanting, they start reading, slowly, slowly, slowly. That, that, that should be our goal, how to encourage them to do those things. If you see Prabhupada also, well, these things Prabhupada, once in a while lecture in context he mentions, not regularly. Regularly Prabhupada only speaks about how you can become Krishna conscious, chant Hare Krishna, develop the right mood. And so, it depends on context to context, person to person, who you are preaching, to what level he is, you can take up. 